Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys a Evil Swarm deck profile for Cyber Knight 8610's channel. Uh, this deck profile will be for the September 2013 ban list. Uh, Evil Swarms are a pretty fun deck. Uh, they weren't hit too bad on the ban list, so they should be seeing some more play up in the bigger leagues now. So I'll go ahead and give you guys the deck profile, so let's go ahead and get started. I run three Evil Swarm Caster. Uh, he pretty much helps for your beginning uh, Ophion plays. Uh, when he is normal summon, you can normal summon one L Swarm monster in addition to your normal summon. So you can pretty much get both the Evil Swarm monsters on the field that you need to summon your Ophion. So you got to run three of him. And I'm also running three Evil Swarm Thunderbird. Uh, pretty much this guy is the wind-up rabbit of this deck. Uh, when a card effect is activated during either player's turn, uh, you can banish this card, and during the next standby phase, he returns. So it's pretty good. You could just sit on him. Plus, he gains 300 attack points when he comes back. So you're sitting on a 1950 monster. So run three Thunderbirds. Plus, I'm also running three Evil Swarm Mandragora. Uh, kind of a tricky monster. Uh, when your opponent has more monsters than you, so you could special summon this card, and pretty much uh, you'll get this special summon off. Your opponent thinks, okay, he's playing into the Ophion play, I have to stop him. So they'll try whatever, bottomless, torrential, your Mandragora, and get rid of it, and most of the times you have another play to go off of because it was only a special summon. So that's why I like to run three Mandragoras. And probably the best Evil Swarm, I run three Evil Swarm Kirkion. Uh, pretty much with him, uh, you can banish one Evil Swarm monster in your graveyard to return one from the grave to your hand, and you gain the additional normal summon. So with just one Kirkion, you have an Ophion play to go off of or any other Exceed monster that you need. Uh, only bad thing about it, it is pretty bad to start off with him early game when you have nothing in your grave, so that's what you have to watch out for with this guy. Um, I'm also running three Evil Swarm Heliotrope. Uh, the biggest thing that got hit probably with Evil Swarms is the fact that we only have one rabbit left to use in the deck. But with the Evil Swarm Trap card, it's not that big of a problem. You will be able to use your rabbit plays still and recycle if you ever can get them off again. So it's not that big of a hit. It would have been really bad if they banned rabbit altogether. But having him at one is still not that big of a problem. And since all your Evil Swarm monsters are darks, I run one Dark Armed Dragon. Uh, pretty much love running him early game, because pretty much if your opponent somehow gets over your Ophion with the uh, materials that it took to make the Ophion, that's three darks in the grave, you summon Dark Arm, they really don't see it coming, you pop what they have, and you're ready to go from there. Um, only thing, can't get him out on the field when you have the Ophion with the materials, so you got to work your plays around that. And that's it for monsters. We'll move on to spells. I run two Infestation Pandemic. I used to run three, but now I like running two since I am running the one Evil Swarm Trap card. I forget the name of it. Infestation Infection. Uh, it's a really good card. Uh, they can both be searched out by Ophion, but that's why I only like to run two Pandemic. I feel like two is all you really need because... Um, most of the time when I'm running three, I end up drawing it, and you don't want that to happen. You want to be able to search this card with Ophion. Plus, I'm also running one Reinforcements of the Army, uh, just so you can search out your caster and thin the deck. And I'm also running two Forbidden Dress, because Ophion's Infestation Pandemic can protect it from spells and traps. But you have to be wary of other effects, which is why I run two Forbidden Dress. It really helps. And one Allure of Darkness just helps with the draw power. And with Heavy Gone, I'm now running three Mystical Space Typhoon, just for that back row popping ability. And still have one Dark Hole and one Book of Moon. Uh, that's it for spells. We'll move on to traps. I run one Infestation Infection. This card can be searched out with Ophion, and it's a really good card because once per turn you can shuffle one Elsworn monster from your hand or face up on your field into your deck to add one from your deck to your hand. So this really lets you play out what plays you want, get what Evil Swarm you have to want to your hand, whether it be Caster or Kirkion, depending on the situation. It really helps. Um, with a lot of the back row cards hit, I'm now running three Fiendish Chain. Uh, with Heavy Storm gone, Fiendish Chain really helps because uh, you can play these, negate your opponent's monster effects, not have to worry about Heavy when you set big back row, which is why I like running three Fiendish Chains now. And I'm also running two Dimensional Prison, one Solemn Warning, uh, one Call of the Haunted to replace the Reborn. Since it is kind of a slower format now, the call really helps a lot. Uh, I'm also running one Bottomless, one Compulse, one Dark Bribe, and one Torrential Tribute to cover up for the back row. And that's it for the main deck. We'll move on to the extra. 
Uh, can still run three Evil Swarm Ophion, so that's what I'm pretty happy about. Uh, pretty much Ophion, when he has Xyz materials, uh, neither player can special summon level 5 or higher monsters. And once per turn, you can detach one material from him to search for one infestation spell or trap. So he helps with the search, plus he limits a lot of decks, so it's great to run three Ophion. I also run one Evil Swarm Bahamut. Uh, pretty much this card's your big eye of the deck. All you have to do is detach one XYZ from it and discard one L Swarm from your hand to the grave to target one face of monster your opponent controls. And if you do, to take control of that monster. And it's a permanent control. Take the monster. That's why I love running Bahamut. When I summon Bahamut, my opponents try as best as they can to get rid of it quickly because they know they're about to lose one of their good monsters. I'm also running one Evil Swarm Ouroboros. Uh, pretty much put this guy in because we lost, we lost Shockmaster now, so we needed another high up there Exceed Monster, and he kind of fills in the spot. He's not bad. Um, also, one number 85 Crazy Box. He's great just to sit on with 3,000 attack points, and with the one Eradicator still left for side deck options, he helps. He's an easy target if you don't want to get rid of your Ophion, so great to go into Crazy Box. I also run two Maestroke, uh, just in case I need that stall or Book of Moon option. One Papla Operative, one Black Ship of Corn, one Digusto Emerald, one Number 39 Utopia, one Gem Knight Pearl, one Gaga Ga Cowboy, and one Lava Val Chain. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Definitely recommend trying out Evil Swarm Monsters. It's a pretty fun deck, and it will be a topping deck in my opinion since a lot of things got hit including prophecies and e-dragons so yeah that's it for the deck profile hope you guys enjoyed uh don't forget uh, to like and subscribe and kira twig